Island of the Doomed, 1967, directed by Mel Wells, starring Cameron Mitchell, Elisa Montes, and George Martin. A group of tourists are brought to a villa on a strange island, where a diabolical doctor has been experimenting with carnivorous plants. This film was recommended by a fan. Thanks for the suggestion. This isn't a film you're going to watch for the plot. Things just happen. Nothing really gets resolved or revealed. There's a cast of memorable characters, including an extremely unhappy couple, a goofy professor of botany, and a mysteriously stoic servant. The breakout character of this film is easily Mrs. Myrtle Callahan, though, a tourist from New York that joins the group. She goes from taking pictures of a man they accidentally run over on the way to the villa, to giving a comically bleak monologue about how they aren't going to get off the island alive, to departing from the group to take a picture of lightning during a storm outside. The evil doctor acts like a villain from a James Bond film complete with booby-trapped furnishings. I kept expecting a young Sean Connery to butt in with his Walter PPK. The English dub of this film is as campy as many of the 60s and 70s Godzilla films, and almost every female character speaks in a comically sultry voice. The killer plants are genuinely creepy when they're finally shown on screen in action especially when you get to see them suck blood out of their victims. Oddly, no one is credited for the special effects in this film. The director of this film played the role of Gravis Mushnick, the flower shop owner in the original version of Little Shop of Horrors. It is obscenely poetic how he went on to direct a film about killer plants a few years later. Unfortunately, the copy that appears on everything from YouTube to Tubi is of highly dubious quality and was cropped for broadcast on television, which ruins the framing of a lot of shots. Strangely, this film was released under four different titles, including Island of the Doomed, Maneater of Hydra, La Isla de la Muerte, and The Bloodsuckers. Verdict? Recommended. Plant your butt into the seat for this one. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi or horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next time for another thrilling low-budget adventure.